Good morning everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to shoot fitness photos like a pro. I'm going to show you how I go from this to this. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So step one, we need to get a pump on. I'm looking a bit flat, no, no veins really popping, blood not really filling up the muscles, so looking a bit flat. So let's get a pump. I know my room is a mess, don't need to tell me. So now I've got a bit of a pump on. You can see the veins and that's starting to come through. The pegs are filled out, the lats are filled out. I've deliberately not had much to eat today, so stomach is flat. You've got some chest veins going on. So now we need to find somewhere with some good lighting. What does that mean, good lighting? So we want lighting that gives us deep shadows and preferably from the top to really make the muscles pop out. So I'm just in my house. I'm just gonna scout around the house. Anyway, so let's go have a look. This is a possibility. Nice top down lighting with nice window up there. Quite soft, quite nice here. This bathroom here, this top down lighting, it's quite good. But I've chosen this location just here. So we've got the pump, we've got the lighting, and now we should get the pose and the picture done. So now I've found the lighting, I've got a bit of a pump, it's time to take the photo. So what you want to do is, you want to just keep, just keep taking photos, play around with how the light hits your body, and then just play around the composition. It's going to take you a few tries, but eventually you're going to get a nice one. So let's take some snaps. Step four, we got the pump, found the nice lighting, took a bunch of photos, picked a really nice one. Now it's time to edit them. So let's go in. What I like to do before I uh, edit any of my photos is that I like to open up in the camera raw and then make some quick adjustments there. I shoot all my photos in raw and I shoot them with a DSLR. You don't have to have a DSLR. They're amazing editing apps for your phone on your smartphone. But what I do is I just have my cheap DSLR and I edit them with Photoshop. I've picked out this photo and as you can see this is what it looks like out of the out of camera so without having done any editing at all we're gonna make this look pretty awesome. So, so usually when I start editing I usually um, sort out the exposure so this is a bit overexposed and again as we were talking about um, light and shadow. So for this photo I'm just gonna drop the, the exposure a bit um, and this is only really possible um, to edit with this amount of detail, this amount of control if you shoot in raw. So so yep, so we've dropped the, the exposure. I want to up the contrast because we really want to make those shadows really pop out. And as, as you can see already, just by doing that, we're really already making the photo um, pop loads, I, in my opinion. Um, so it's a bit yellow, so I want to drop the temperature. So I'll up the highlights a bit and then increase the shadows. See what, so basically what I do, I just sort of play around with everything, see how it looks. Um, yeah, that looks quite good. And then whites, no, just drop the whites a bit. So that's a bit too much. So but the danger is you don't want to make it too dark that you lose so much detail. And then clarity. Oh yeah. So clarity sort of ups the sharpness. So you already just by doing f those minor tweaks, we're already making it look so much better. So just drop maybe, yeah. So saturation just about there. So now we've done some quick edits on camera raw. We're gonna open up the image in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. And you know, to be honest, I could almost leave it just as that. I, th In my opinion, that, look that really looks amazing. If I do say so myself, we can up the ante even more. I learned this little trick from Peter McKinnon. Um, he has a video he shows you exactly what he does um, on, on his channel, but I'll just show it to you anyway. You want to create a new layer. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make the colors pop. We're going to make everything pop, uh, make the colors warmer and uh, and just sharpen up the image just so that the details come out. Um, so, yeah, so I've made a new layer. And then what I want to do is I actually want to, I want to blur it, use Gaussian blur, set that to five pixels. And as you can see, it's sort of blurry. And you think so, uh, what am I doing? You'll see why. This layer to soft light. And as you can see, it's already made everything so much warmer, so much, so much warmer, so much punchier. Um, 
it's but it's a bit dark so I'm gonna drop the opacity just a bit so that I don't lose so much detail so yeah about there so now as you can see it's already made it like it's just okay, maybe a bit a bit darker so like it's just made everything pop made it a bit warmer and now I'm gonna add another layer this time I want I want to desaturate it and then I'm gonna set it to overlay and now it looks it looks a bit weird bear with me I'm going to run a high pass on it so filter other high pass and there we go and now it's sharpened the image if I just zoom in see the image is sort of blurry and then with it it's sharpened see sharp blurry sharp and there you go i feel like it looks a bit a bit yellow so i'm going to change the color a bit change the yellows maybe just yeah see so i don't look like i have jaundice so much see if it does anything and the reds i'm going to play with the reds maybe give myself a bit of a tan no uh, yeah just about there i think i think i'm gonna leave it there I think that looks quite good compared to what it looked before. So yeah, so this is what the original image looked like. So in, and in literally a few minutes. So if I were if I weren't filming this, it'd be a lot quicker. So it literally in I'd say in literally a minute, I've I've taken this photo and turned it into this photo. Fo this photo. And I don't know. I think it looks pretty sick. I could have spent a lot more time, a lot more tweaking, a lot more playing around with it. Could have, you know, could have touched it up, cover up any blemishes. So I'm just showing you how how easy it is to make your physique look so much better. All right, guys. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Basically, the point of this video was to not sort of expose the some dirty secret of the fitness industry. It was more, you know, just sort of educate you and you know give you little tips and tricks to help you um, take better fitness photos of yourself and, and just show you all that you know you don't need super expensive equipment. All you need is to understand the principles of you know good lighting, uh, having a pump, um, good composition. And just little editing tweaks, so you know, to sort of enhance your physique. And that was just me just messing about, really. I wasn't taking that seriously. So basically, the whole, I guess, the whole, the main point of this video is just to let you know that don't let yourself be bummed out if you yourself don't look like some, you know, like someone that you follow on Instagram. The way that they look on Instagram, they don't look like that all the time. It happens all the time where you know people. You know, meet their sort of their fitness influencers, their you know their fitness idols in person, and they are they people are always so underwhelmed when they meet them. Eighty percent of the time, they'll say like, "Oh, they look a lot smaller in person," and it's because of things like this. It's because when people take photos of themselves, you know, if, especially as a fitness model, photos of them whilst they are in their prime, looking at your prime. Is it's temporary. You know, you can't hold a pump 24 hours a day. You can't have perfect lighting on you 24 hours a day. And my sort of lighting and camera setup was super, super low budget. I just used window lighting. I used a table, that table over there, <laughs> over that bedside table, and like and a, a little tripod. So just imagine, you know, if you had. An unlimited budget. You have the best lighting, ten thousand pounds worth of lighting in a studio where you control every little bit with a nice diffuse, you know, diffuse the lights. And then on top of that, you can have you know they use oils to make you shiny and make your muscles pop even more. And on top of that, you know the model will, the fitness model will you know dehydrate himself for like two days before that, so that his skin turns super super thin and to, you know to make his muscles and veins really pop out um, and on top of that uh, they might be you know on cycle with some sort of I don't know you don't know and on top of that they might be you know in a cutting phase so their body fat percentage is super low and making their muscles pop even more so there's so many things that people can do to enhance their physique for that one photo for me these sort of photos I, I, I sort of see them as more 
as an art form and you know anything that can enhance your art I'm all for. I guess what's most important is to understand that the reason why these photos look so you know these physiques look so amazing is because of XYZ and if as so long as you understand that then that's what's most important. I hope you learned something I hope you enjoyed that video if you did like the video, you know, that'd be, that'd be quite nice. Uh, share this with someone else. Start taking better photos of your physique. That's all from me. I'm Zane. Happy lifting, everyone. <laughs>